Right, morning all. Uh, I wish it was a good afternoon. We're at uh, Blackwater Reservoir, out by the Queen, I think uh, in 69. And this is the view. That's the overflow sluice gate down there. And that's the bank, the other side. It's a bit windy, I've got my microphone and I hope it makes a bit of a difference and takes a bit of the wind noise out because it is quite windy so but it's a lovely sunny day and I think it's Saturday I think no it's not it's Friday it is definitely Friday the 13th there you go I'll catch you in a minute um, that's another view of the sluice gates um, I'll try and get it a bit closer uh, quite a big car park here it is fairly quiet you can just see the Betty B up in the front there um, sadly it has a no overnight parking but I'm going to ignore that anyway cheers yep you can drive over here and go to the other side which isn't a problem I haven't done, I've no need to, it doesn't go anywhere, have you noticed the tide mark on the, I don't know what they call them things on the, ooh, on the inlet, anyway, it's quite low, and this is the uh, reservoir, it's uh, constructed and opened in, not, well not constructed in 69 but before then, and there you go, what a nice little place. But this is just a stop off towards Cairngorms where I'm going tomorrow. Hopefully that's not too fast. You can see how low the water is by that there. So, and then, there's a property there. Yeah, nice view, nice place. Um, doesn't look official, looks like uh, privet. Um, there you go. So I don't know how much you can hear of the wind, hopefully uh, not too much. But uh, there you go. Blowing a, a right hoolie, and uh, this is over the walkway. Ooh. Uh, the sun is uh, blaring down, the wind is very chilly, but as you can see, it is not too bad a day. There you go. So, this is uh, Blackwater Reservoir. Anyway, cheers. As a uh, footnote um, to the place where we're parking, uh, everything in the logging here, as you can see, this is at the uh, Backwater Reservoir. I'll call it Blackwater, but I think it's Backwater. If you go over the dam and follow the road for about two miles, you actually pass a one parking spot where somebody set fire to some rubbish and some bed and stuff, and it's disgusting. Uh, disgusting, everything in the logging here uh, as you can see 
uh, all cut and put in piles. A um, few trees still left, and this is another space for parking. It has a nice big sign saying no overnight parking, uh, which, as I said, is a bit of frustration. So, uh, but when we followed it round, it, it actually does come pretty much to the end. Uh, that is a dead end road to the farm, which is way over in the distance there. And I know there's another little road that goes up further. I haven't put my microphone on, so I might get a bit of wind noise. But it is quite, actually quite a nice little spot. And as you can see, I can wander down a little bit, trying to keep out the wind. This is the end of the reservoir. And uh, as you can see, um, it's pretty impressive. Quite a lot of sheep across the other side. Um, little step over, so you can get down. Well, I think you can get down to the bank if there's a, a fence around it. But it's worth if you come into here. So excuse the wind noise uh, because I haven't put my microphone on. And so way up there is is what I've said is the entrance in and go over the bridge, over the dam, and just follow the road uh, for about two miles or a mile and a half, two miles. I'll come out there so the wind's protected me. And there you go, quite a nice little view. Okay. Um, as for no overnight parking, because we, we noticed a lot of cars going past here where we were parked on the dam and we wondered where they were going. So this is where they're going, uh, kids and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, it's Sunday, on my way back home. So I'll catch you all again soon. There you go. Cheers.